What's happening, everybody? Mark Mude checking in on behalf of Billy Go Gruff and the Rockabilly Red Devils. I'm going to do a demonstration and discussion uh, for one of the original songs that I'm working up for the uh, album A Simpler Time. This song is called Back Porch Swing. I'm going to play the guitar parts live along with a couple of guitar parts that I already pre-recorded and a bass line. Bass line and two guitar parts. I'll discuss all that afterwards. First, I'll just play the song, hopefully mistake-free. I'm not very good at doing that, though. And then afterwards, I'll tell you how the song came about and hopefully where it'll end up. So here we go. what I have so far the uh, the whole song has a swing feel to it um, and that's where the song title comes from it's the inspiration back porch swing um, the the song came about I uh, made a mistake when I was practicing guitar one day I was trying to play a riff it's one of my favorite riffs to play and but I tried to do a slide with it and tried to slide up into that note and my fingers got caught and it sounded like this but I kind of heard a melody in there that sounded familiar and it reminded me of the ragtime piano like in the 20s 30s and I thought man that's really cool I like that a lot I could do something with that I thought I can use that in a song but it sounded like a second part I needed uh, a first part for that so I developed this part. And then that part. And that's the third part. And then the turnaround. 
and then that repeats. It's, it, it follows a 12 bar progression of uh, really standard for rockabilly, blues, country music. Even today it's still the, the go-to progression. The song takes place in the key of A, so I'm going with the 12 bar progression, which is A, D, A, E, back to D, or A, I'm sorry, back to A. It's, it's, again, it's the, it's the most standard go-to progression, and it's been used hundreds of thousands of times. Anyways, what I have recorded, and what I'm playing along here, there's a rhythm pattern that's generally referred to as boomcha. Boomcha is what everyone calls it. Because it sounds like boom chip 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 boom chip. I know you've all heard it. I'm putting it in this song, and it's serving a very percussive role. It uh it, it has very little melody to it. I'm playing it extremely staccato. I'm muting with the palm. Can you see that? And I'm, I'm muting up here when I'm making the chords. I'm lifting my fingers off to deaden the chords up. So there's not much melody to that. I'm letting the melody be uh, covered by the other guitar part. It's the uh, rhythm guitar playing these chords. And I let those chords ring. And they, they work out really well. And it fills in between the uh, boomches. What I like about these chords is that all three chords share similar notes. They're all in real close proximity to each other. So it, 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 it all sounds familiar because you've already heard those notes in the other chords. And even though I'm letting those ring, there's still a staccato rhythmic part to playing it. With very definite strikes. By making a definite strike, you get to hear the concussion of the chord, the attack, and then the chord rings. And it follows the bass line simple bass line that I use for this purpose uh, just for the, the demonstration purpose but the bass line is is a standard walking bass line for rockabilly it uh, follows that and that just repeats throughout the entire song but that's just for now. That's for the songwriting process. When it comes time to actually record the parts and and come up with the finished product, then I'll add some spice to it. I'll add variety and I'll, I'll change that bass line up so that it's not that simple. Not sure if I'm going to add drums or not yet. Uh, I kind of hear them when I when I think about the song. I kind of imagine drums being in there, so I'm sure I'll probably add some. But that's about all I'll add. I'm not going to do layer upon layer upon layer. I don't even know if I'll use all those guitar layers. <clears throat> uh, a lot of the rhythm track I'll be able to cover on the lead track that's carrying the melody line. Either way, I did make some mistakes. That introduction piece is something I came up with just today and I screwed it up. But that's okay, because if you're not making mistakes, you're not trying anything new. You're, you're probably just playing the same stuff you always play. Which is fine, but I, I try, to, try to spice it up. I try to do different stuff. I try to grow as a player. But uh, I think that covers pretty much everything about the song for now. It started off with three notes. Those three notes. And I turn those three notes into the... And then the whole rest of it followed along. Thanks for watching. Like I say, a song called Back Porch Swing, Billy Go Gruff and the Rockabilly Red Devils on the uh, <clears throat> A Simpler Time album. Hopefully, you'll still be around to hear, hear the rest of that come out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.